Hey everybody, Julie. I uh, wanted to show you guys the flower we're going to be making today. This is for Flower Friday. I mentioned yesterday that I didn't have time to get it done on Friday, so I would do it today. And this is what we will be making. And it's really easy. And you probably have everything you need for it. Okay, you're going to need some circles. I punched these out with my Spellbinders dies. And let's see, this one, let's see, they're going to be an inch and three quarters and an inch, probably about an inch and a quarter. So an inch and three quarters and an inch and quarter. But you can use any size that you want. It doesn't matter. The, the flower will just be different sized uh, than this if you use smaller or bigger or circles. So whatever. You are going to want to ink the edges of whatever paper that you uh, choose to use. I'm just using this notebook paper, uh, scrapbook paper that I picked up at Hobby Lobby yesterday. I thought it would look kind of really cute. So let me just finish inking my edges here. You're going to need six of the larger circles and five or six of the smaller ones. So cut six just to be just to be sure. You might only need five. Um, it just depends on how you're placing your petals. Okay, so I've gone ahead and I've inked all of my petals. Now what you're going to do is you're going to have to shape these before you before you make your flower. So to do that, you're going to take the side of the paper that you want showing and you're going to fold it in half with the right sides facing, but only crease the bottom portion of it. Don't crease all the way up, just crease the bottom. Okay, and then with these flaps here, you're going to fold them down Okay, and then pinch the bottom. All right, so you've just really made like a little, almost looks like a leaf. And then what I do is I glue these because you need these to be uh, set. I use hot glue here. Um, you don't have to use hot glue. Use quick dry if you uh, have temperature sensitive hands. Okay, so you're going, let me show you how to do that again. So you'll take your paper, you'll fold it in half, right sides together, and pinch the bottom. Okay, and then you take your two flaps here and you'll fold them down and you'll pinch the bottom again. Okay, so you'll end up with a shape that looks like that. And then you'll take your glue and you'll glue the backside flaps together and pinch and hold. And then you're also going to want to glue the middle portion because you want this to stick together because this is the piece you're going to use to glue down to your, uh, your background or your backing. Okay, so go ahead and make all of your petals. So I'll do that really quick and I'll probably fast forward this part of the video. Okay, so now I have six petals of each done, six of the large and six of the small. You're going to need to cut yourself a circle from scrap paper. And this is um, probably about an inch and a half circle. And it's just one that I use as practice for stamping. Okay, and then what you're going to do is you're gonna take your large petals and you're gonna work with those first. Okay, you're gonna put the glue right here on your little tail end. This almost looks like a, like a leaf. You're going to put your glue right there, okay, and then you're going to set it down. And you might have a little bit of excess glue here. That's okay. It's only going to make the base of the flower a little more stable anyway, okay. And then what you're going to do is you're going to glue that down, and you're going to take your next petal, okay, and you're going to glue it straight across so that you have two in a straight line. Now, you do need to give these a couple seconds to set up. Even using hot glue, they won't set up right away. Okay, so now you have two of them and it looks like this. Okay, so we'll take another leaf or another petal and we'll put our glue right there on the back. And we'll set this one close to, the, to one of them, okay? You're gonna put four petals and three petals, or four petals and 
So you have three on each side basically is what you're going to do. Sorry, hard to explain that. Okay, and then we'll take one of the other big ones. Got these long stringy glue, glue strings today. Okay, and then we'll put that one directly across from the one that you just put down. And you might have to adjust the petals a little bit, lifting up or pushing down depending on what look you want. Okay. All right, and then you're going to take another one, put your glue on. Okay, and then that'll go in this space here. And then your last large petal will go in the open spot directly across from that one, from the one you just put down. So basically what you're doing is you're making three straight lines with two petals each. All right, so now you have something that looks like this, and you can play around with the petals until you get them, you know, exactly how you want them to be. Like I think when this one dries a little bit more, I'm gonna lift this one up over it. No, I don't think I am. You have to fiddle with it to get it to look the way you want it to. It's just like with any other any other flower. Okay, so now I have this six petal flower. Now I'm gonna go ahead and I'm gonna take the smaller petals that we've made and they're going to go in between the larger ones. Depending on where you've placed your large petals, you might not have room for six small ones, okay? If you don't, that's okay. Just make sure that the ones that you are able to put in cover the entire middle of the flower. If you have those little glue finger helper things, yeah, that would really work out good on this project. I don't have them. I need some. Okay. Especially that little pointy one, the stick, so you can really get down in there and push it down. Because even though, you know, my hand, my fingers, well, my fingers for sure, aren't really sensitive to hot. You know, if you have to press down on hot glue for a, you know, more than just a couple seconds, you know, you're going to feel it. Okay. All right, so now I've got three on there, and it looks like maybe I'll get to fit all six on this one. Let's see. On the one I did for demonstration, I was only able to get five on it. Yeah, I should be able to get all six on this guy. And you will be putting something in the center here so this doesn't have to be neat and tidy. Let's see. Now, you know what? I think I'm only going to go with five. Looks like I only need five, but I do, you know what? I don't even need that. Okay, so I've got my five petals. Let me just figure out how I want this to set. Okay, so I've got my five petals. So now I have six petals and five petals on top of each other. Now I am going to want to put something in the center. Now I used a nice big flower here. And um, I'm thinking I'm going to use just a big button now on the center of this one. So let me get a bottle or a jar of buttons. Let's see what I can find in this bucket of buttons here. If I can find anything that I like. It has to be substantial enough to cover that center. And I might have to go with a flower because it looks like this. Yeah, I'm going to have to get one of those flowers.
Okay, so let's go ahead and give this a color. I'll put a little bit of paper towel down since I don't have my box over here. I really don't want it all over my hands because I do have to go somewhere in a little while. So let's just spray this guy. Ooh, nice pretty blue. And I want the color to really be saturated on here, so I'm going to really spray it. Okay, so got that sprayed good. Let me give it a dry with the heat gun here. Okay, now, just because I'm overzealous like this, I'm going to shoot it with a little bit of my super homemade, really sparkly glimmer, and then dry that again. <laughs> okay, Oops. just dropped an ink pad. Okay, and then what I do is I just take this leaf off the back because I don't really want it on there, and I'm just going to clip this right at the base. Okay, and then kind of give this these petals just a little shape, you know, to be more of what I want it to look like. And then I'm going to take that, and yeah, that fits good in there. I'm just going to dollop a bunch of hot glue on the back here. And then I'm going to stick it down in my flower. Love my technical terms, right? Stick it down in my flower. And then I'm going to call it done. So there you go. And I want to talk just a second about how beautiful these types of flowers, these bigger, more substantial flowers look when you put them on packages, especially right now because it's the holiday season. And I, you put one of these on your package as opposed to a store-bought bow or, you know, those bows that come in, oh, 20 to a bag or whatever. You know, a package that has one of these on it as opposed to a package that has one of the store-bought bows on it. You know, this is something that the recipient of the gift can take off their package and use again if they want to. Or, you know, just keep it, stick it on a headband, whatever, you know, anything. Use it as a pin. Um, it's got another use. It's not something that's just going to be tossed out in the garbage for the garbage man to pick up, you know, the next, the day after Christmas. So just keep that in mind. These look awesome as bows on packages. So, all right, everybody. I hope that you guys have enjoyed this tutorial. I will have a pictorial on my uh, blog shortly. And um, so if you want to check that out, that would be great too. And I just want to say thanks for watching my videos. I hope everybody's having a great weekend. And I hope that if you have to go out and shop today, that you choose to shop at some of the smaller local shops in your area, as opposed to some of the bigger box stores in your area. Um, they get enough of our money throughout the year. I think it's uh, the holidays are a great time to support your local artisans. Um, you know, head downtown in your in your town and see, uh, you know, go in a couple galleries or go in a couple of the small hobby shops and things like that and see, see what you can find. All right, everybody. Have a wonderful day. Bye-bye.